Hi guys, I'm Iran from uh, Jagger Electric Bike Scooters System. I'm here today in Nimbo office, uh, Tiroflex Nimbo office, and we are going to show you our products and our investment, what we do for our customer, and for sure what we do for the development, uh, uh, guys that are still riding the Inokim Ox and want to make some improvement. So I have some product that I pick up here and I choose one by one and show you what I'm going to do. I will start with my main product. We take first of all the, our controller. This controller is generation five. It's OX main controller. As you see here in the pictures, all the connection parts are the same. You have the main cable connection, you have the model light connection, you have the whole sensor, battery, and the three fuzz for the motor. So what we are going to do, actually, now I take all the parts out so I can show you how to assemble it yourself. So now what I have here, usually you have your controller, you need to take it out and you need to start to connect it. So for the motor, as you see, the color is one color by each color. If you look on the uh, Inoki box, you will see that you have a yellow connection parts box. So you connected all the three files color to color. You have the motor, file, motor hole sensor. You connected it to the same place here. And you have an air ring between left and right. So you push a little bit hard. It's my side. You have the battery. You have the battery here. This is the battery, our battery. It's improving 60 volt, 30 amp. It's going the same position exactly. If you have your Inokim uh, battery, for sure it's going to match and work nicely. So, we have the main cable. I took it out from the frame so you can see everything. This is the main cable that arrived here. Actually, it's all generic. that come with the original uh, uh, OX. But also we have our cable. Someone to want to improve, to change. So, usually it's go for inside the stem and go directly to the controller box. So as you see here, you have eight pin with screwdriver and you connected it again with an arrow one by one, like this, and you screw it. After I connected the main cable, I connected the fuzz, I connected the whole sensor, left now the model light. The model light usually is sitting here on the right side. This is the original model light. So if customer need to replace the model light, we also have a model light to replace. But as you see, the original model light can connect it to our controller. So the original model light have a green waterproof connection. So this waterproof connection connected to our green waterproof connection, the same, narrow to narrow. That's all. And we have the left side to give the light to the left side. You connect it the same. Actually, you don't need to disconnect it. Now, the last one is connection is the battery. What I do, first of all, I connected all the parts and the end, I will connect the battery. So this is the power from the battery. It's called XT60. Our controller is also XT60. When you connect it, it will be a small knack. This connection is the power will go inside the controller. So what we do, don't get in panic if you have this noise, I will try to show you. This is the noise you are going to have. All right, nervous. Usually there is a noisy when you connect it because now the power is already existed in the controller, but when you connect it, you sound small knack. Don't be panic, it's what you need to be. So after I connected the main cable, you can use all the original display that I have it. Hmm. Here. Uh, mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have option all to buy our uh, connection uh, display. It's actually the same. You have a zero start. You don't need to have a kick start when you start it. And you can change it between 48 volt to 60 volt to 72 volt if somebody needs it. So, if I go to the main cable, you cannot make any mistakes. You connect it to here. 
the same with the narrowing. Now we have the power inside. This is how we show you. As you see, this have automatic light. As you see the light is already open. Turn on the light automatically. When you have a sun, so the light will disconnect it. Exactly as the original, you don't need to change nothing. But I have some surprise for you. We have our new display that's arriving now. It's connected to the, it's called connected to the generation six. The generation six arrived with a function model light and Power throttle, it's a new one, also connected here. Usually it's come connected when you buy it, you can have it. And as you see, on the main cable, actually it's original. You take out the original display to the same place and connect it our new SX display. Now you will have a new display on your Inokim. This is the power, turn on, and you have an NFC, NFC is connection, when you put the NFC, you will get the power. Now I need to connect with the motor and I'll show you later on the next video how the motor speed is working. Actually everyone is connected here, that I already built, but I show you more things that I want to show you. See now, NFC, you get the display, and this is the speed you are going to enjoy. So this is the first level, this is the second, and I'm afraid to show you the third one. This is the third one. you see here for the generation 6 controller, generation 5 controller. I will show you in the next video how to connect to the front motor. It's another video. See you guys.